I believe that our urban circuit was way harder than the one now. I think it's because it's so much political correctness. It's a lot of our, what we went through, I'm sorry, that shit it was, was, tough. was whole, and everybody, there were so many beasts, women, so many funny women, comedians, so many men, and everybody was hard to follow when they had a good day. It's yeah. tough. It was what, tough. What people didn't realize too um, about comedy when we were coming up, it was yeah. comedy was segregated. Big time. So you you would have the white rooms, what we no, would call, we call the white, the white, white rooms. rooms. You know, yeah. do, oh, he do white clubs. And then you do like the it, black room do black at the white club <laughs> on, the, on Sunday night. <laughs> right. So the crazy thing was the guys that only did white rooms would yes. come to these type of rooms and bomb. <laughs> They would bomb. Even, I mean, like you, you could smell it on them. Cause you, you know, could cause smell they, it they on didn't them. Have the, they didn't have no kind of connect. Because <laughs> in the mainstream room, they gave you a chance to breathe. Yeah, not, not us. And it's like, you gotta be like this, <laughs> who fucks? Yeah. <laughs> I love fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, you ever fuck a bitch? You gotta, boom. You gotta jump right there. But see, you can't go, my mom's a Catholic. <laughs> what? Boom! <laughs> Yo, get on 95, fam. Yeah, they, they, we don't need a build up. We don't want a punchline yeah, setup. Hey, man, get to you the just real gotta shit, get man. right to the joke, man. Yeah. Do some like physical shit, man. Yeah. And the thing <laughs> for me, I was, I did both. Cool. And that's why my first time doing comedy in Chicago, I met Bernie Mac. Well, I was in a comedy team first. No way. It was Godfrey and Alexander. I did it for a year. We opened up for Adele Givens, Steve Harvey. That's what. Holy shit, Steve Harvey's the reason why I, I, I split from the dude. Why? I was, because when Steve had hair hair. Okay, hair hair. He was at All Jokes Aside, I was in the hallway because we had opened up for him and I was like, you know, I was pissed because my boy was getting drunk. He, he forgot the line, I was writing the little sketches we were doing and you know, he go, and Steve was like, yo, what's wrong, soldier? You know, what's wrong with you? I said, um, man, I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to do this duo shit. And uh, he goes like this. How much y'all getting? We got like, we were getting like a hundred bucks. He's like, you like splitting that shit? He said, cut his ass and walked off. <laughs> I have a photo with Steve on that night. He goes, cut his ass. <laughs> and I cut that motherfucker. I remember back in the day we had the only <laughs> duo I knew was Arsenal and Mitchell. Arsenal and Mitchell. And we yeah. auditioned for Def Jam. And yeah. then they got it, and I saw why they got it. They were tight. They were we, tight. We we did good, but I even do. I auditioned for Def Jam on my own, and I never got chosen, and and I got skipped. Even Kid Capri thought I did it. Kid be like, "Hey, go, yo, God, you did." I go, he goes, "You never." Bob never picked me. Just I don't know what reason it was. We gotta find out why. Because I always did well. Fuck that. I was killing. I go. And then I remember Bob told me one time, and it's not a downing Bob, but he was like, oh man, you are not from the ghetto. I go, a lot of these cats ain't from the ghetto like that. Yo, yeah. what are you talking about? I'm from Chicago, but I'm from Chicago, blue collar family, they work hard, what's the fucking deal? I'm funny. Right, period. And he was bringing up people who weren't from the ghetto that were on there. So I'm thinking it was, <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob, I think it was a personal thing. <laughs> Fuck that. I think it was, I think it was personal, it was but, personal it's, but it was all good. <laughs> But I've always been that kind of comic where right. I was in the gray area. A lot of black folks fuck with me, but a lot didn't. Right. White folks fuck with me, but a lot don't. It's I'm one of those dudes that I've, oh, but I'm I'm like amorphous. Like my acting teacher told me, you got to be a blank a blank canvas. You should be able to morph into anything. Absolutely. Bruce Lee said it. When you see water go into a bottle, it takes the shape of the bottle. When you see water go into the teacup, it takes the shape of the teacup. Now water can either flow or crash. Be water, my friend. So you should be able to adjust to Absolutely. anything. I don't. I don't like being put in a box. Nah, you. There is you no know? box for you. And I think. I May, think is that you think that's what it makes it harder. No, well, it is hard. You know, it's hard for me in my career because I can do more than one thing. thing right. So people don't know what I am. What? Do you, so they be like, Yo, Bill Bellum, you still do comedy? <sighs> oh, Yo, Bill Bellum, you got a podcast? Yo, yeah, Bill Bellum, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, I seen you on on Bel Air. Yo, 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 I seen you in this movie. Oh, snap. Yeah. So, yo, yo, you still funny, though, yeah. yo. Like, it's, it's weird. But see, when you but, got multi, when you got multiple hands, it's hard to say, oh, he only does But you're multiple-handed in your field. That's what I'm saying. That's stupid. It's like, yeah. It's like, I'm a fighter. I can go groundwork. I can box. Yeah, there you but go. But I'm still winning. I can still win. That's how the fuck it should be, bro. I'm sorry, like. We don't like know where that. to put you. Motherfucker, let me play the old man. I'll show you. I could do it. I'll be like, hey, hey, listen, Shani. I can do an old man. It's very, very simple. Yeah. The fuck you mean? <laughs> I, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? 
I can I can play shit. Oi, oi, what you doing, eh? Governor, what the fuck is going on? I can do that too, bro. <laughs> I can do Top Boy, bro. It's more shit, bro. I can do that. What the fuck are you talking about? There ain't I no ceilings on Godfrey, bro. No, there shouldn't be a ceiling because they'll always tell you, reach for the stars. Don't, you know, right. always. Re and then you do and they don't want that. Well, well not that far. Right, right, right. No, 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 we we were just kidding. We, that's just some shit I say because I'm a piece of shit. Now listen. <laughs> no, but it's not about me. It's what what I like about the business now. Mm -hmm. Even though it's literally the wild west right now, yeah, it's, and and it's opportunities in all form for, for, for they don't have a handle on nothing. Yeah, so you can you can yeah. right now is the time to be yeah. talented to make your mark. You can. You got the social media yeah. aspect. You got different networks. You, you got uh, yeah. uh, different. Um, HBO, you got Hulu, you got every kind of platform, Amazon, it's, to be able to. It's present. all about numbers too. That you know how we never really, you know, growing up, you watch shows. The Nielsen ratings gave it a do 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 do. I didn't understand any of that. Now you know your numbers. Yeah, you know things. You're part of the number system yeah. now. You it's so it's like the best man or woman wins. It's that now. But everybody and their mama now want to be a star. That's another thing yeah. that's bad. Yeah, well, everybody it, can't be a star. But everybody, everybody trying. Everybody wants to be famous. Fa yeah, but just because you're famous don't mean you're a star. That, that's true. It's, that's it's, true. It's, it's, Shit, yeah, that's true. That's real. What other voice? Do I have any? No, okay, I thought I had. I got one for you. So one of my biggest, 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 like, mentors and sort of like yeah. a guy that like gave me my first advice was Paul Mooney. And so <laughs> when I first, <laughs> I got to say this, cause you got the best Paul Mooney. So anyway. Aries Spears begs to differ and Aries, I love Aries. Yeah, Aries yes. got one too now. Aries, when Aries I did my tough. Paul Mooney, he goes, I forgot, I forgot to say I Aries, do Aries got I, Yo God, yo I saw your Paul Mooney the other night. Yo, I had to challenge you. Yeah. <laughs> and he, his Paul Mooney is fantastic. It is fantastic. And I just did my Paul Mooney because I was just doing Paul Mooney. I was talking about Meg Markle. Oh, right? Megan Markle? And I said, because they, you know, they, it was the racial shit that happened with her. When she did and the interview goes, with Oprah? Yeah. And she goes, she got her nigga wake up call. <laughs> nigga, you, you got your wake up call. Your goddamn royal family is the whitest goddamn family. What did you expect? You got your goddamn nigga wake up call. You thought that light skin was gonna get you. You thought you were gonna have the complexion for the protection. <laughs> it's like, it's like you're not royal, you're crown royal. 